Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back here at Young and Investing. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Quentin. If you're new here, make sure to be subscribed to stay updated with everything crypto related. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. In this video, we are going to talk about what is, in my opinion, the most obvious narrative for the next bull market, and that is AI. So we're going to have a look at five AI coins that either I personally own or I have on my watch list that I really like. Small disclaimer here, everything in this video is just what I personally like, what I personally hold, so nothing is sponsored or anything like this. And also I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm just pointing out some stuff that I personally find very interesting. All right, without further ado, let's dive into it. And before we're going to dive into the five that I'm either watching or, or personally own, I want to take you to the categories section here on CoinGecko to show you how small the AI thing actually is in crypto now. But I think it is, I'm personally convinced about this, this is probably the most obvious narrative that we're going to ever have in crypto. Of course, together with layer ones, etc., which are always a narrative. But AI is going to be, in my opinion, something that will grow massively over the next few years. And the reason for that is because nearly every project, every new project that is currently launching, they have this AI buzzword in their description. So they do something with AI. They always do. And it's something that is really, really remarkable and really obvious as well. So let's go and have a look here at the categories. And to find the uh, AI category here on CoinGecko, we need to scroll all the way down. And as you can see, you see the layer ones here. You see uh, centralized exchanges, you see DeFi. Uh, you see, of course, dog themed coins as well. But if we go and have a look at AI, it's here only number 27. So artificial intelligence and the total market cap of all AI projects that are currently listed on CoinGecko is not even $7 billion. So still very, very small. And if we go and have a look at what is in there, then we see that the biggest one is BitTensor, number 44 only on CoinGecko. And here's a small prediction of mine. And I think that by the end of next bull market, we will probably see uh, one at least one project in the top 10, probably several in the top 20. That is my personal prediction. So I think they will outperform the rest of the altcoins. So if we have a further look here, you see there's a lot of stuff in here, but especially if we go lower in this list, a lot of this stuff that is listed here, they either rebranded to something that has to do with AI because they didn't do AI before, or they're just using the buzzword AI and actually the project doesn't have much to do with AI. So a lot of this stuff is not purely AI. That is something to keep in mind as well. Now let's talk about five coins to watch in this AI narrative. And the first that I'm going to talk about are, or three that are already in my list, I'm going to give you already some, some hint here, are the first three ones. Um, I truly believe that these three are actually the leading ones in the AI narrative and they will all, in my opinion, they are all very good competitors to take that top 20 spot that I'm talking about. I don't expect like new projects to come in and take over as the biggest one in the industry. Um, so these three are already in my list. That is something that I can already tell you. So let's start with the biggest one, which is BitTensor. It is also my latest investment. So last week I got into BitTensor. It's a bit of a sad story, guys, because I wanted to buy BitTensor when it was at $50. I wanted to buy that right here, actually in the beginning of October, but I didn't do it. I didn't pull the trigger because I had some doubts with the usage of the token, the token uh, itself, DAO token. Um, so I didn't do it. And eventually it started taking off massively, did a time six uh, from that point where I wanted to buy. And I actually got in here on this dip and I bought around um, 235 on average, I've gotten right here. 
So what is BitTensor? Very quickly, I'm going to give you a one minute explanation of, of all these projects. But uh, this is my latest investment, as I said. But as you can see here, uh, BitTensor, the website is very, very academic. And the project is also very academic. So let me tell you what they do. Basically, you can see BitTensor as the Ethereum of AI. So you can build AI projects, you can build AI applications on BitTensor. And also very interesting here is they already have some products live, like a chatbot. They have also artificial intelligence image maker um, already live on their on their platform. So very, very interesting stuff that they already have. You should check it out. It works really well and it's decentralized artificial intelligence because some people have problems with the centralized AI things like chat GPT, but also like the image makers, etc. because the data is very centralized and uh, BitTensor is, all, is taking it like in a decentralized way. That way the data sets can grow very quickly. The machine learning can go very fast as well. So that is what BitTensor wants to do. One more thing I want to say about BitTensor, the tokenomics are really interesting because they are not VC funded. So they are not VCs who are going to dump on you or are going to like um, put the project in a certain direction. The tokenomics are actually one and one the same as Bitcoin. So they need to get mined. There is 21 million max and currently we are actually not even at the first halving. So there is quite a big inflation. That is my only problem that I have with BitTensor, but I don't want to miss this AI hype, especially with this project, which can really become very, very big because you can build all kinds of AI applications on the subnets, that's what it's called, of BitTensor. But I am going to do a BitTensor review, full review very soon on my channel here. So make sure to stay updated with that. Put your notifications on, be subscribed to my channel to get that review as the first one. Now let's go to the second one, which is Render. Uh, Render is something that I personally don't own, but it has been on my watch list for a long time. I owned it actually in 2021, but I sold it and I feel a bit of regret doing that. But of course, this is what it is. And this is also part of the crypto journey that you miss some or you make some mistakes. Um, but it's still on my watch list. So I actually think I might still buy it in the future. So what is render? Render is actually, it already says it a bit, right? So the render network, it is sharing GPU power among people. So if you want to render something, sometimes it can take like a long time. And basically this network is a decentralized network of GPUs and you can use like the GPU power of someone else to help you render a lot of stuff. And that is needed for AI because AI sometimes takes a very, very long time to render something. Um, and basically if you use the render network, then you can do it very quickly by just using some, some free power of the GPUs of other people and you pay, of course, in the render token. So very interesting for AI, for rendering stuff, for making AI stuff in the future. Very interesting detail here is that the render foundation, so render network, they have a partnership with Apple. And that is, of course, a very, very big one. They have some more partnerships, but I think uh, Apple is the most important one to mention it works really well. It's getting traction right now. So render is also one to keep an eye on in the next bull market, knowing that the AI narrative will be big. Then the third one is fetch.ai. Fetch is something that I'm already holding for a very long time. I've been holding it since the ICO. I think I'm not too sure about it. It was 2018 that they did their ICO. It was on Binance Launchpad as well as the first one of the new uh, cycle. So Fetch.ai, very interesting project as well. I'm holding it already for five years. They changed their scope, uh, not like a few times, but they changed their scope a little bit. But it was also the very first AI project in crypto. In the beginning, everyone ignored this, um, but they are actually changing their scope a little bit. So very briefly, I explained what is Fetch. Fetch is basically something that uh, is, is a network for AI agents. And with that, I mean that you can put your even your, your traditional company on the Fetch network and the AI agents will um, sell your data, will buy data, will help you with machine learning and collect data, etc. So it's some kind of, you can say like it's some kind of 
plug and play thing for um, for companies to have access to a lot of data from other people and also earn on your data. And the AI agents are autonomous, so you can simply plug it in and they do their work and they collect data that you need and they also um, trade your data. So very, very interesting project, really useful as well in IoT, Internet of Things, connecting everything on a network where data is transferred and traded in a smart way, but it's focused, of course, on AI. The autonomous agents that are built on the Fetch network are also AI. A fun fact here, I'm really in the mood to tell you guys about fun facts about these projects, but uh, Fetch, the, the founding team of Fetch, were people who also um, worked at Google DeepMind, the very, very first uh, developers of Google DeepMind, which later on got sold to Google. Of course, it was in the beginning not Google DeepMind, it was just DeepMind. It got sold to Google. It was a one of the first AI projects as well. So the first developer of uh, DeepMind, uh, he was one of the founders of Fetch, um, one of the early investors of DeepMind as well. So some part of the DeepMind team um, is actually right now active in Fetch. Some people left as well in the meantime but um, that is also very interesting they have good connections they have been in the ai space for the longest that you can imagine because deepmind was really one of the first ones as well and they were the very first one in crypto with their ai project as well so it says a lot about the team um, so very very interesting project as well let's go to the fourth one which is origin trail origin trail is also one that i'm personally holding um, I'm already holding it for some time. This is one of the projects that really changed their scope. In the beginning, you could best compare them to what VeChain wanted to do. So VeChain uh, wanted to track goods and make sure it was like were like genuine projects, not counterfeiting, etc. So Origin Trail was actually something to just track goods and to verify it was genuine, etc. So since that time, they actually changed their scope a little bit. So what Origin Trail right now wants to do is become like the base layer for data for AI, verified data for AI. And that also comes with a lot of use cases. So let me show you a few of the use cases. And also the partners are very interesting. They're having very, very cool um, and promising pilot programs with uh, all of these projects right here. So supply chain, as I said, this was their first use case initially as well. But right now they also have like use case in construction, life science and healthcare, scientific research. That is maybe like a very interesting one as well. Metaverse and gaming. So um, basically they are covering a lot of stuff for verified data for people to use to um, to use like in, in AI systems or uh, machine learning systems, etc. So that way you are sure that your data is verified. And of course, this is very useful for a lot of companies right now. Now, the last one I want to talk about is one that I am also watching, but personally don't own yet, which is pal.ai. Um, it's a very interesting project. It's also one that I wanted to buy some time ago, but it really, really took off. But currently I already have like enough uh, AI holdings, so I don't think I'm going to buy this one. Maybe I'm going to buy a render in the future, but I think I have covered the AI narrative for the future already enough. So very shortly, what is, um, what is PAL.ai? Well, basically it is an ecosystem where you can create um, your personalized AI. So basically it's like um, uh, a play and build system where you can can make like personalized AI with the tools that they give you. So very interesting because it gets used like a lot already in, in, in trading bots, it gets used in Telegram bots, in Twitter bots. It, it actually it has like a lot of use cases, but these use cases are currently um, the, the, the biggest ones and the most known one. But basically the scope is, and they want to do that in the future, is that you can build any AI tool, personalized AI tool for yourself, whatever you want to use it for. Um, but very, very interesting, very promising, and it's getting more and more traction as well. So 
I heard, for example, right now, fun fact again, that they are sponsoring um, the biggest AI conference. I think it was in Europe uh, where like the biggest AI names, technology names are. So they're sharing the stage with these ones. I think that is a very good thing for networking, first of all, but also for exposure um, of their name. So I think they're business wise doing really well. I, I, I truly believe they're on the right way. They have a good vision. Um, but I want to see like more development coming from um, a, from PAL because right now it, it's really like mostly used for Discord, Telegram, Twitter bots, etc. But very interesting if they can develop a platform where you can create any personalized AI tool that you want. So sounds very promising to me. All right, guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure to be subscribed and then I see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.